Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is supposed to be a sleep bud. Again. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if you're a fan of Bluetooth earbuds, I'll definitely recommend you to own three different types. Number one is to have a very good noise cancelling function in earbuds so that you can actually isolate yourself from the rest of the public in a loud urban space. Number two is to have an open air earbud uh, so that you can listen to podcasts, music while you're having a conversation with your colleague at work, your family members and friends, while you could also answer the phone uh, hands-free. Number three is one of my favorite, which is to own a sleep bud. Now you can check out all these things from my channel, but this time I just want to recommend the Soundcore uh, Sleep A20 Bluetooth earbuds by Anchor. Now this has the fusion comfort functioning which means that it's wrapped in a gentle material around your ears. It has a flexible air wing design as well, an adaptive curve shape so it creates a zero pressure to your ear and it's perfect for a side sleeper which I am. And it also has a battery life up to 14 hours single charge and includes the case 80 hours this is without the bluetooth but with the bluetooth connection 10 hours and 55 it has a personal sleep monitor so that you don't need the smartwatch anymore the earbud itself can do that now that's really cool white noise fine device function as well that's impressive so it has a noise blocking design with sound masking gentle material for night long comfort peacefully stream content via Bluetooth and sleep monitoring and personal alarm clock as well. These earbuds are getting more and more clever, aren't they? So I'm really impressed with the first impression so far. Good quality packaging as well, 3D print. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and sound test. So here it goes. Okay, so the moment of truth. Look at that. So we got the wearing guides. So one, two, three, very easy, straightforward. And the installing guide, this is the good way. This is the bad way. Okay. Please note that. And we got the actual case itself, really smart, good quality plastic indeed on the wrap. And if we were to take out the actual lid, instruction manual, with a nice seal tape on it. And um, that's just a quick run through on what sort of things are available, function and etc. This I believe is the warning card. Final package, which I presume will be, wow, look at that, that's beautiful. Different types of seal, look at that. That's like a wizard hat for some reason. And oh, this is for the ear. It's very soft indeed. And the actual ear tip of uh, small, extra small, large. So, wow, we got six different types of sizes. And lastly, the uh, USB-C cable. Very good quality. Much better than the standard. So the main product itself, let's actually tear it out. Nice size actually it's not too big not too small and we got the um, reset button here the USB-C plug and um, I believe you press it up nice <laughs> look at that that is really high quality indeed and they're very soft can't believe how soft they are it's double of the layer of softness to the actual ear plug and the actual seal itself as well and this is the charging part as well isn't it now the good thing about sleep buds i would say it's a good thing is that it doesn't have a microphone hole so you don't leak out personal information while you're having conversation so it protects your privacy and the also the snoring sound that you're going to create as well so that's really soft cushioning indeed and the actual thing inside, oh, so this was the paper cover and this we need to take out obviously. It's a nice seal, nice cover 
and a nice slide as well. Immediately when you grab it, it feels like a sleep bud because of the comfortness of the light and the soft feel of the actual plastic and the good quality of it. Now, one thing I do want to highlight is that I don't know whether you, uh, many of you actually own a sleep bud is that when you open up the lid and close it, you have to be very discreet, careful for someone who's sleeping next to you. And this is exactly how it's designed. You can be very quiet on it. So check it out. Look at that. That is very important indeed. Now to the actual secureness of the magnetic joint that is very well secured. You actually feel the force of pulling in and out and that is really good. So if we do a bit of a shake test here, it won't fall off. Um, and you can see that there's a dot flashing trying to pair with the Bluetooth. So it's all ready, good to go. All right, so I installed the app and very kind of them showing how to wear it. So you need to twist it once you insert to your ear. And this is the set sleep schedule as well. So you can actually go to sleep at 10, which is good and wake up at seven. That sounds very reasonable. So this is the main page. So if we were to click on the actual settings, you can either go for the Bluetooth or sleep on the control itself. We got the left hand side and right hand side. You can customize uh, what sort of function based on these tap buttons. So that's very good. Um, and also sound effect, you can change to the um, sound core signature, uh, bass booster, acoustic rock, pop and classical. And you can also customize your EQ as well. It's very customizable to your own preference, isn't it? The, um, this is very important, I have to say. A lot of cases I struggle to find the earbuds. So this is the way to find it by pressing either left and right. And on the prompt tone, connection tones, tap tone, and low battery pump as well. You can actually set that uh, widget. So these are the things that you can do on your smartphone, adding on the widget. Very clever indeed. Device name, serial number, and update firmware, and etc. cetera. So um, we can do the playback settings as well. Uh, so these are the functions that is available. That's really clever, isn't it? And also bedtime, you can set it for uh, 10 o'clock and then wake up time, reminder, alarm, and etc. So it's a proper sleep bud indeed. Now on the right hand side bottom, there's a sleep data. So if you click on it, so each date, it will actually uh, keep up your data. At the moment, it hasn't got it because I just connected to it. On the left hand side, this is one of my favorites. So we've got rain, Misty Rail and you can add the favorites. So if I were to click on this, it will actually play. But on the sound side, we got so many functions. For example, white noise, pink noise, brown noise, green noise. I didn't know that such sound actually existed. Um, and these are the quick run through. So if you want to stick with that, but at the same time, oh, this is actually, yeah, now distinguished with masking, water, nature, life meditation as well. So, so many sounds available, but I believe at the same time, you can actually use it for your own personal, uh, listen to podcasts and so on, which I really like. Right, so I got the binaural sound testing device here on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I'm actually wearing it, so I know exactly what's going on with this sound test. So let's try some of the sounds, shall we? So um, the white noise, let's play it, okay. So you hear a bit of a sound coming in, pink noise. You can actually mix those two together. You can see that it's actually downloading. Um, oh, for some reason, I actually gone off from the main page, but anyhow, you can combine these two. You can play up to three sounds, but let's actually play, stop playing this and add the thunderstorm. I like thunderstorm for some reason and add a bit of a campfire as well. Um, and then we can add the singing bowels as well. So you can play up to three things. Good thing about it is that you can actually adjust the sound of each of them. So I think this campfire is a bit weak. And then the singing bowl as well is a bit weak. So that's how you can actually, yeah, so you can hear that ding sound and so on. So that's how you do it. Let's turn that off and play one of the piano sound as well. So it's downloading. That's really nice, isn't it? 
so um, you can actually turn off the campfire as well so there's so many ways of formula that you can actually design for this sort of sound available within the app so let's do a quick sound test between A20 against the good old Sony XM4 earbuds and the track that I'm going to play is called Feel So Good by Liquid so here it goes Right, on my left hand side I'm actually connected to the Sony XM4 earbud and on the right hand side I'm connected to the Soundcore A20 uh, sleep buds. So I'm going to simultaneously play the same track again. So here it goes. So maximum volume. There's something different, but I can't tell. They're both really good. I would say the A20 is a bit more lively. Oh, the boom. That was better. I'm waiting for the beats. So here it goes. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, so Sony XM4 is really good. <laughs> so the A20, there's an extra spice of excitement on it. I mean, this is supposed to be a sleep bud, but there's a powerful beat treble sound onto it. That was amazing. So obviously XM4 is aging, It was considered to be one of the best earbuds at the time. And wow. You're leaning into the A20 Sleep A A20 uh, Bluetooth ear earbuds and wow, sound call. Well done again. Yeah, definitely. It's very similar, but the extra spice. I can't believe I'm using the word spice here. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That's amazing. Well done, sound call. 
So I tried out the A20 on my pillow. So basically when I'm trying to naturally lean against on my left hand side, for some reason on my right hand side was fine, but on the left hand side, uh, the hard frame itself seems to push it away. So there was a bit of a push uh, to prevent me to tilt my head naturally to side to actually complete flat. Uh, so what I decided to do is, you know, lift it up and then completely lying flat. And that seems to do the trick. Uh, so what I decided to do is change the actual air wing and somehow when I tried it again, it seems to improve. Now, when I actually completely lie on the side way, um, then I realized the actual ear tip seemed to feel expanding a bit because it's completely pushed against the pillow. So I think it came in as a default as a medium size. So when I tried out the uh, smaller uh, ear tip, that seems to be much better. But then again, there's slight sense of a, a leak of a sound but that's not really important for my sense it's it's more about listening to something that i want while i'm going to sleep or the default sound settings that is available for the uh, sound core app uh, so i have to say this is one of the best uh, sleep bud that I actually tried so far and the sound quality is amazing i have to say uh, sound core is really good for producing their own type of sound, despite the actual A20 unit is much thinner than the XM4 earbud. So well done for that. So I hope this video explain how cool uh, this A20 uh, sleep Bluetooth earbud is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best, bye-bye.